In this video, I'm going to show you how you can scale your Amazon ads into new countries using the new multi-country view. So a few months ago, Amazon launched this new multi-country view feature over on Amazon ads. So if we go over to my US dashboard over on Amazon ads, it looks like this. So this is my last 30 days over in the US. So I spent $316, had 125 orders. So that's performing pretty well. But as you will see at the top here, you've got the option to switch to the multi-country view. So at the moment, I'm just viewing the US dashboard. And if I wanted to see my results over in the UK, Canada, Australia, I'd have to go to those dashboards specifically to see how my ads are getting on. Whereas now, all I need to do is click this multi-country view button. And now this is showing all of my ads from all of my dashboards across the world in one place. So I've actually spent over the last 30 days, $1,048 across the US, UK, Australia, Canada, Germany, and they're all being shown here. So it's a great way straight off to just see how all of your ads are performing together. So I can see there that I've had 408 orders from $1,048 of ad spend. So that again, we're doing okay across all of the countries. One thing we can also do, which is really, really handy just in this one view, is if we scroll down and we click filter by, we can select country. So let's say I wanna know how my ads are performing in Canada and Australia. All I'd need to do is tick those two boxes here and click apply. So there we go, over the last 30 days, we can see I've only spent $68, but I've had 36 orders in Canada and Australia. So I know that those two marketplaces are performing really well. What's great about this as well is when you're on the individual marketplaces, it shows the data in that local currency, whereas this now is showing it all in US dollars. So instead of having to figure out how much I've spent in euros and Canadian dollars, in British pounds, etc., this will just show me the overall spend, the overall income, the overall sales in US dollars. And let's say I wanted to see how much I've spent in British pounds. I'll just go to the Amazon Ads UK dashboard, enable the multi-country view over there, and I'll see all of the data there in British pounds. So yeah, so just looking straight away, it's really handy. One really cool thing about this as well is I find it just a great place to go and manage your budget by country. So if you go to your portfolios, here's one I made for Australia, for example. So I've got all of my Australia ads in this portfolio. So if you've added all of your ads to a country specific portfolio, you can come onto your manage your portfolios here. And then all you need to do is click this modify portfolio option and you can give it a budget cap. So this is fantastic to stop you worrying about overspending in certain countries. So let's say you've got a $500 a month budget across all of your ad locations you might only want to spend $50 over in Australia per month because you're focusing a little bit more on the US or Canada or the UK. So all you need to do is come in here and select a recurring monthly budget cap. So let's say we only want to spend $50 a month. We can set it to end on a specific date if we want to. That might be helpful if you want to end it in November because you know maybe you're happy to spend a bit more in December. But we're going to set never for now. And we can see here that it says budget cap $50 each month. Then all you need to do is click save changes and this portfolio, so all of your ads in Australia won't now spend more than $50 a month. So that's a great little option for you over on Amazon ads if you just wanna control your budget a little bit more. And then this next part is super exciting. It's not yet available for me, but it might be for you. And this is the multi-country campaign creation option. So when you're using the multi-country view, if you click create campaign like you usually would, for some people, it's been rolled out gradually, there's this multi-country campaign creation option. So let's say you wanted to create an auto ad on your new book. If you create campaign in the multi-view, you can then select what countries you launch that campaign in. So this is fantastic, it's a huge time saver because let's say you've got a book and you wanna launch it using ads in five countries. No longer do you have to sit there and create five individual ads. That's what I do for every single book I launch. I create five auto ads across all of my different countries. I create five manual keyword ads across all my countries. 
and I'll create five product ads as well across those countries. So that's three total ad units across five different locations. So that's 15 sets of ads that I set up for every single book I launch. Now that takes a lot of time to set up and a lot of time to manage. But the hope is when it rolls out to me, I can just create three ads and launch those across all of the different countries. That's gonna save me a ton of time and I cannot wait for this feature to be available for me. So yeah, so using that multi-country view is just a great way to be able to see how your ads are performing across multiple locations without spending a ton of time. And then that new multi-country campaign creation option is gonna be fantastic as well. If you watch my income report videos, you'll know that this is my go-to way of sharing my data across my ads. It's a fantastic snapshot. You can easily see where you're spending the most money. You can set your budgets really effectively. If you haven't tried it out yet, make sure to go to your ads dashboard and enable your multi-country view. Now, as this is quite a new feature, maybe I've missed out some features. If there's anything that I've missed out, drop them down in the comments below and let us all know. Until then, if you've got any questions about Amazon ads or self-publishing over on Amazon KDP, let me know down in the comments and I'll do my very best to get back to you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.